eating a lot today um, I know I'm going to eat a lot we have a potluck at work and then afterwards we're gonna have a little thing over here with the family so I'm just getting ready to fill my belly up with lots of turkey lots of stuffing lots of bomb as food I want to tell you guys a few things that I'm most thankful about in my life First of all, I'm very, very thankful for you guys because without you guys, I wouldn't be where I am today. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to make my dream come true. And also, thank you for just the love and support that you guys have been giving me. So again, thank you. Thank you so much. And then second, I'm very thankful for my family and Rax. And I'm very thankful for my health and my family's health. I'm just glad that everybody are um, healthy and okay. And I'm just thankful for life because life is honestly amazing and beautiful and it's just an amazing gift. So let me know down below what you guys are most thankful for. Um, I would really like to know. I don't think I have anything else to say. Just don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you do enjoy this video. Let's just not ramble on too much. I love you guys all so much and let's just roll into the tutorial. So one eye is half done as always and then we're just gonna work on this eye together. Um, the first thing I'm gonna do is prime my eyes with the Soft Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. You guys already know that I've been in love with this. Go ahead and blend that out with the Beauty Blender. So we're gonna be using a few different palettes and single eyeshadows, so just bear with me. I'm honestly just everywhere. Um, so the first color we're gonna be taking is Makeup Geeks Chickadee. If you don't own any of the orange and the brown tones from Makeup Geek, then you can go ahead and use the Morphe 35O palette. Um, they have the same, basically very similar colors, so yeah, you can use those. And I'm just going to pop this onto the crease and blend it up just to act as a transition color. And this color is just really nice and soft, and it's just the perfect warm toned orangey transition color. And I'm going to dip into this color, I believe this is Early Bird. So with this color, we're just going to focus it onto the crease, slightly above the socket of the eye. Next, I'm going into Frappe right here with another blending brush. I'm just going to go ahead and pop that onto the crease as well, just to deepen it up. So we're going to do a lot of layering, just to give our eyes a lot of dimension. Next, I'm going into Coco Bear right here. Where we're going to be a little bit more careful with this shade. I'm going to lift up my eyebrows just a little bit and then focus this color right above the socket all the way into the inner corner. I'm going to go ahead and dip into my Morphe 35O palette and I'm going to go ahead and take that chocolatey brown color. I'm going to focus it only on the outer crease. Working it from the outer from the socket right here and kind of bringing it down like so. Kind of create that little wing on the outer corner. I'm going to dip into this color right here. It's just a darker brown and we're just going to pop this right in here just to really intensify everything. Now it's time to cut the crease. You guys already know I always, always, always use my soft ochre paint pot and my Sigma E58 brush. This is the Dose of Colors ice cream palette, which I'm in love with, but I just haven't been able to include this in any of my tutorials. So I thought that this 
really pretty yellow color just really caught my eye and it just screams like Thanksgiving to me. And then I'm going back in to Makeup Geek Coco Bear and I'm just going to focus this color on the front part of the eye. You just want to connect it to that darker um, brown color right there. Alright guys, so let's move on to the face. We are going to be using the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer today. For foundation today, we're going to be using the Milani foundation. This is in sand beige. I think I'm in need of a new concealer. So if you guys have any recommendation of any concealer that you like for the under eyes, let me know. And I would love to try it out because I've been using the same concealers over and over and I know it gets really repetitive. But today I'm going to be using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Concealer. And of course you just want to blend it out. So to set, I'm going to be using the RCMA No Color powder so i'm not gonna bake or anything i'm just gonna go ahead and set everything you guys know i'm not a big fan of baking i just don't really have time to bake usually for bronza i told you guys in my previous video that i've been in love with the true match powder this one is in cocoa it's literally the most buttery and super blendable bronzer that i own and it only costs like 10 bucks or less let's use an oldie but a goodie to highlight today i'm going to be using the champagne pop by becca and jacqueline hill I also love Jaclyn Hill's other highlight, which is Prosecco Pop um, from the face palette. But the face palette is in my little desk over there. I displayed it with all my perfume because they are all white and gold and just looks so cute together. Okay, we're going to get up close and personal. Okay, so I'm going to be mixing. Okay, so first I'm just going to go in with Coco Bear with my little blending brush by Sigma right here and I'm just gonna pop this right underneath here I'm gonna be taking the chocolatey brown and I'm just gonna really get in there guys like we cannot forget to line the eyes I'm gonna do halfway just because my eye shape looks best when I only line halfway For the lips, I'm going to be using Dose of Colors Cork. Alright guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. And I love you guys all so much. Have fun and happy Thanksgiving. Bye guys. And I know she'll be the death of me At least we'll both be numb And she'll always